All right, so we've got our cutting board here. We've got our mold made, which is perfect. It fits squarely, and if you want to know how to build mold boxes, we'll have another video on that. But right now, before we pour a massive river table, we need to seal this wood. So let's talk about sealing wood and why we do that and how we do that. Wood itself is naturally porous. It means it has air within it and can have various levels of air within it. The other thing wood is naturally is moist. It has moisture within it. So air and moisture together are two things that we have to be really cognizant of when we're doing woodworking with epoxy. So when it comes to the moisture side of things, we know from uh, another Aluminite Explains video that urethane resins don't like moisture. So if you're trying to use a clear slow to seal up this wood or to pour your river table, it's not gonna go well. That's a urethane. It's gonna react to the moisture that's in the wood. All right, but what about all the air that's in the wood and all that air leaking out? Well, if we use an amazing deep pour, let's say, to seal up this wood or just pour the river table right away without sealing this wood, all that air is gonna to try to escape from the wood while the epoxy absorbs into the wood. Well, Amazing Deep Pour has such a long open time that it's gonna to continue to do that, not just for a few minutes, but for hours. And that means air bubbles are gonna end up in your final finished river table, and that's no good. So to avoid that, we need something that is not nearly as moisture sensitive and something that has a pretty short open time that's not gonna let all this air leach out. Enter Amazing Clearcast. A regular tabletop epoxy has a shorter open time, meaning we can coat our wood, get all the air kind of out of it and locked within the piece, then we can use Amazing Deep Pour to pour that river table. Don't worry, all that's gonna go away though because we're gonna sand and finish and level off this wood. So anything we seal is only temporary. Now, I'm gonna mix up some of the Amazing clear casts that we can actually use to seal this. But while I do that, let's talk about a couple things. When you're doing a woodworking project with epoxy, you want there to be a solid connection between the wood and the epoxy so they don't separate or come apart. Well, bark that's on the outside of wood, you're used to seeing that on trees, naturally comes off pretty easy. So if we didn't remove the bark, we'd be putting the epoxy on the bark and the bark would snap off. So you have to get rid of the bark layer here. That's a very, very important thing. And sometimes that bark is not just on the actual edge, it can be within the board itself. So this right here was a lot of bark that I had to carve out of this piece to make sure it was ready for a seal coat. So remove your bark, sand down that edge and get rid of all the cambium layer and then seal it. All right, I've got our epoxy mixed up. I've mixed up about eight ounces. Uh, that's to make sure I have plenty to cover the actual board itself. And also, we're gonna seal this wood, but also kind of seal our mold box too. Putting a quick, simple coating of epoxy on the wood and within the base of this tray ensures we don't have any leaks as well because that epoxy is gonna harden up. So, double duty here. Now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go ahead and put our wood in our box at an angle, and we're just gonna pour the epoxy right on this ridge right here and use our hands to coat it. Like I said, if epoxy gets into the mold box, that's not only okay, that's great. It's gonna seal that up for us and we don't have to worry about leaks. I'm using my hands and I'm really gliding over the entire surface of this. We're gonna torch it out to make sure there's no pesky air bubbles are in there. But the important thing is sealing up the wood and making sure we have good coverage. Don't forget the sides of your board as well. The deep pour will sneak its way over there and we wanna make sure that that's nice and sealed up. Now another thing is pour a little bit of epoxy actually into your mold box, not a ton, just a little bit. This actually will act as a clamp for your wood. You often see in people doing river tables or cutting boards, they've got these F-style clamps with uh, some HDPE on the top and they're forcing it down to make sure that wood doesn't float on them. That's great, that works perfectly. But since we're sealing this with epoxy already, we can kind of glue it to the mold itself and skip that step later. All right, I've got a nice little base layer of epoxy. This is well coated. So I'm gonna just knock it into place now. Perfect. From here, I can see anything I've missed, anything that just needs a little extra love. You can kind of dose it in there, spread it all around. And then I can use just a little bit of that epoxy, go over this ridge one more time to get that final seal and that will also help me clamp it down in the front as well. Perfect. So that's nice and sealed up. This epoxy is gonna cure. We gotta torch this out real quick. Now you might have heard of wood stabilization. That's actually where you take a penetrating resin or a different type of material and you actually take all the air out of the wood and replace it with a hardening substance. Uh, cactus juice, for example, 
uh, is a version of that. That works perfectly and wood turners do that all the time. But if you were to do that with this big of a slab, that's a lot, a lot of stabilization to do. And that's expensive and kind of messy. This is a really simple way to do bigger projects without having to go through that step. So we're back with our torch and we're just gonna release any air that might be popping out or still rearing its ugly head right now. All right. So that's it. We have sealed up our wood. We're gonna let this cure overnight and then next we're gonna actually go ahead and pour the deep river table. Now the two things to keep in mind, like I mentioned before with wood, is that it's naturally moist, it has moisture within it, and it's pretty, uh, you know, has a lot of porosity. There's holes in it, there's air that can escape. So again, if you're using a urethane resin with wood, you're gonna have to stabilize that wood completely. Mm, that takes a lot of effort. So sealing it with epoxy is a great way to continue moving forward with your project, continue getting these big, big things done, and having a great time. So in the next video, we're going to do an amazing color pour in this half, and I'll show you how to do that. Till next time.